Greetings, this is Paul, your Pacific Northwest Trail Guide. I want to help you pick your next trail to explore, so let's check this one out. The Newberry Volcanic Monument contains a lot of natural wonders. Palina Creek Falls is one of the prettiest of those. Take this jaunt for less than a mile to visit this waterfall and take it in along with pieces of its former self. The trail takes you down about 150 feet at this high desert waterfall, around 6,000 feet elevation. The Palina Creek Falls day use area is a recreation fee site, so you want to have your Northwest Forest Pass to park there. Also, keep in mind that there is a lot to see in the area, so make sure you look into it and make Palina Falls one of your many stops in this place. Palina Falls is located on Palina Lake Road, just a little before you reach Palina Lake. Coming south from Bend or north from Lapine on Highway 97 in Oregon, you turn east on Palina Lake Road and go a little over 12 miles. You'll see a big sign for the falls and take a left to pull into the parking lot for it. The trail begins near the toilet and shortly brings you to a split with the upper viewpoint straight ahead and the trail down to the bottom of the falls to the left. It's a very short walk up to the upper viewpoint if you want to go check that out before heading down. The cliffs that this waterfall is cascading down are being eaten away more quickly than most other waterfalls in the Pacific Northwest. Palina Creek is cutting through a thick layer of solidified volcanic ash and pumice here, which just doesn't hold up. After you check out the view from above, return to the junction and take a right to head down the path to the bottom of the falls. The trail down takes you through a healthy old grove of conifer trees, switching back a few times before reaching Palina Creek at the bottom. There's not a whole lot of room down at the lower viewpoint. You're sure to find a nice perch to look out from, however. You get a really impressive view of the relatively quick erosion happening here from below. A wall of huge boulders that have fallen from the cliffs in centuries past rises in front of you. The creek is diverted in numerous small cascades, finding its way through the rubble. When you've finished enjoying the lower viewpoint, it's time to get your heart pumping a little and enjoy a nice climb up through that lovely grove to return to Palina Creek Falls day use area parking and continue on to the next attraction in the Newberry Volcanic Monument. There's no extreme terrain or climbs to deal with on this jaunt. The only thing to keep in mind is the elements when visiting Palina Creek Falls. Due to the high elevation, the area can often be snowed in and hard to get to in the winter. That does it for this short edition of Pacific Northwest Trail Guide. 
I hope I have or will soon help you pick your next trail to explore. Remember, a picture may be worth a thousand words, but an experience with all of your senses cannot even be conveyed in pictures or videos. So don't take my word for it. Get out there and see this gem for yourself. Thank you.